Welcome back to another offline performance video. Today, we're going over the 2022 Subaru BRZ that we just picked up for $18,000. All right, guys, we are all the way out here in Springfield, Missouri, actually about 30 minutes outside of it. And we just picked up another project car for the shop. This is a, I don't know, what model year, 2021, 2022, uh, Subaru BRZ. So we uh, found this thing on Marketplace for a pretty good deal. It's got some damage, but we're gonna remedy those issues and uh, throw all of our parts on it and do the OTL thing. And uh, maybe one day we might throw some boost at it, but more or less, we wanted to get another one of these so we could showcase some more products and uh, show off the stuff that we make. Um, so yeah, here it is. We're gonna hit the road. It's about a five and a half hour drive back. Right now it's uh, 10 minutes to noon. So we're gonna try to get back before dinner time. So let's hit the road. I would say probably an hour is the maximum that I would drive out of the way on a road trip to go to a Bucky's. I'd, I'd sacrifice an hour. Yeah, but this one was only 20 minutes. Not bad. Oh yeah, the hood, yeah, they knew that. They knew the hood was. But this fender has overspray on it, like really bad. You might be able to wet sand and polish it. Is this but... a salvage car? No. The title has a mileage discrepancy. And it's a homie hookup on the, uh, <laughs> so. the body work. Oh, it's got spacers on it. Yeah. I didn't notice that. Okay, we're ready. Mm. This thing's rough. All right. We're going to do like a group, group photo. Group photo? Should we just all be pointing at all the bad things? Just <laughs> one right here, one right here, one right there. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Rolling? All right, so we just got back uh, last night. It's now the next day. I just sprayed the car off so we can kind of look over the bodywork because um, it does have some uh, cosmetic issues that we're gonna attend to. But largely the car runs and drives pretty good. Um, it's got a noisy clutch or noisy shifter. I don't know. Um, judging by some of the mods that are on the car, I would say it was pretty, pretty abused. Uh, it has a drift button and um, you know a seat. So naturally it was probably had the shit kicked out of it. So. Um, but starting off in the front, we've got some dents on the hood. So, um, keep in mind also, we got this thing for a wicked deal. I don't know if we want to say how much we got it for insert. We got 18 that we got it for 18 grand. That's it's wicked cheap. So, and it has 19,000 miles, but, um, some dents on the hood. So we're going to get a new hood. We already plan on that. Um, over here on this rear quarter, we got some bacon fenders going on. So I don't know if we can PDR that or what we want to do about that. Um, just some small issues, uh, things to be expected with being the third owner of a car. And then I don't know why, but this side of the bumper is really flimsy. So we haven't really looked into that though, but I'm sure there's a fender liner or some sort of bracket that's loose. But uh, mechanically, it's pretty healthy. At least it seems to be. Um, the motor is completely stock minus uh, cat back exhaust. It's got a factory airbox, factory header, um, no, no modifications to the engine, which is perfectly fine for us because uh, we're going to do all that stuff. So um, let's uh, raise it up and check out the underside. Okay, so let's start up here. Um, obviously, it has this skid plate on it and, you know, they all have it. And it's definitely uh, seen some some rubs there's a lot of scratch marks on it which i mean that's why it's here so that's no issue um just quick peeking up through it um can't really see much to be honest might have to take it down and look but for right now um back side of the cylinder heads look clean not really any oil no oil laying around the exhaust is all stock minus the cat back like i said and uh and honestly it's really not too bad under here 
it's very, very, it's, it's exactly what you would expect with a used car. You know, there's some issues. This is all dented up. We're probably going to take this off and put our OTL cat back on it anyway. Um, so yeah, so far, I don't think we, uh, Richard, I think we got a pretty good deal. 18 grand, 19,000 miles. I think we got a pretty good deal. So we are going to, uh, we'll get it off the lift now. Um, the bosses will be here in a little bit. They can check it out, see what they bought and uh, start getting some plans together for what we're going to do to it. Um, I know right away, all of our off the shelf OTL parts, like our coil packs, our air box dress up, our header, um, our cat back, all that stuff is probably going to go on. We'll be doing install videos of that stuff. And then we'll probably also do some install videos of products that we're going to be selling through our new website. So you should go check it out. We've got a lot of really cool stuff on there. We've been putting a lot of work into it. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for updates on this. You'll be seeing a lot of product video installs on it and, uh, can't wait to see how it turns out. Slow car, they feel awesome. Drift car right now. Look, you got a drift button. There's a drift button. You just gotta hit that and then you put gas in and then let go of the clutch. When we got this car, we immediately brought it back, and I believe one week later we had our open house party where David, aka that dude in blue, drifted this car for 12 hours straight. but it was actually the metal attached to the tie rod on the knuckle that just snapped. Oh. So some hot boy said, yo, I'm gonna tack this to keep it together. and it'll, It won't fail, it'll be fine. And that's what happened. Broke off at the weld right there. Who's got cheating welds? Yeah, for research and development <laughs> here at Off the Line Performance. It's not our product, though. Yeah. Not our product. It's not no, no, it's, it's got two tacks on it, but it broke the material. Great. Today, we're going to go over everything that's wrong with it. We're going to change some stuff out. We're going to change the wheels, the seat, steering wheel. And then, yeah, we're going to pretty much let this be the first video in the build series for this car. We have a lot of stuff planned, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video. Now, with that all being said, let's get into fixing the car. Got the BRZ in the shop. We're just changing a few things. First things to leave the BRZ is this seat right here, and then the energy steering wheel, just because um, these steering wheels are notoriously dangerous. So we went back with the OEM wheels. So we get all the button functions and everything like that. There we are. This thing gonna blow up in my Put face. In there, dude. No, it's done now. Look at that, Jay. Race car. Now everything should work. All the Let's airbag see. lights and random shit should be off. This build, but 
right now we're just kind of reverting everything back to stock. We still have our OTL um, roll cage in here. And then next step is to be changing the wheels. As you can see, we have our, our drift spares on here and then the fronts is what came with the car. We're gonna go ahead and swap the white wheels out with the wheels off of our TRD car. And we're gonna do all four all around and we'll see what it looks like. So let's go do that next. Spacer bad. Spec wheel good. Spec wheel correct good. Spacer bad. Now that we have reverted this car back to mostly stock, um, the last thing that we need to do with it is clean it because when we were at our party, um, it did get quite dirty and you'll see clips of that throughout this video. For right now, we're just gonna clean it up, make it look good. And then in the next video, we'll get into the more technical stuff. Let's go to the interior of the car where the biggest changes were made. So this was the seat that it came with is the Prisma Ultra with this nice floral pattern. None of us here at the shop were really a fan of this thing. And we also had the NRG wheel, which these are notorious for not being the greatest and uh, you can kind of just fold them. So they're a little bit unsafe. And uh, we wanted all of the factory buttons and things you know, it's a nice car it's a brand new car why would we want to get rid of all the stuff all the nice stuff you know so we went ahead and put the oem wheel back in the car the oem seat so we have everything works everything works exactly how it should now with the oem seat being in the car we also went ahead and did this nice roll cage now this is a bolt-in cage and this will be available for sale on our website but it is the off the line cage now we did not make this cage but we let the company Competition Motorsports here in Des Moines, Iowa, actually borrow our car and design the cage around this chassis. Also on the exterior of the car, we have da -da -da, the OTL catback. Now, the OTL catback is super sick. It is a single exit, and we offer it in a burnt and a polished tip option. It's only $5.99, and it sounds amazing. Cut to sound clip right now. Doesn't it sound so good? I mean, for the price and what it is, it's it's awesome. We slapped this on right before the party because it did have a, <laughs> it had an HKS high power exhaust on it. But right before the party, we went ahead and threw the OTL cat back on it just because we think it sounds better and it looks cool. It does the thing. We're going to be running more of our parts on this car. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But as far as the exterior goes, all we have is wheels. There are BC Racing coilovers on it. And then the OTL catback system, which that'll stay on the car. So will the wheels. The coilovers, we're still iffy about. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed so much. 
in the next video, we will be doing the alignment and suspension adjustment on this car. Um, as you can see, the camber is way out of whack. The toe is way out of whack. We're going to make it drive very, very nice. And then uh, we'll probably do some donuts maybe in the next video just to kind of test out the alignment. We'll go on a drive and do some driving stuff as well. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope this series is entertaining to you. We have lots of videos coming out. So make sure you subscribe every Tuesday. We're going to be releasing a video. So thank you. We'll see you in the next one.